there, thanks for tuning in. Today I managed to pick up a Walking with Furious 215 for a test flight. So here it is. Nice looking box, the Isle of Packaging by Wakira. Included is a simulator, Donker. The F215 has a wheelbase 215mm designed around the F3 flight controller with a rapid response speed. If you're into racing and freestyle aerobatic flying, this might be for you. Airframe design is modern, it's simple, lightweight. 375 grams but with a rugged structure. I'll point them out to you as it is designed around crash resistance. The F215 uses the same 4 cell LiPo battery similar to its predecessor, the F210 60C to give you that adrenaline rush. The first thing you will notice is the left hand circular polarized antenna comes with a extra crash resistant casing and it is connected to the tail end of the racing drone. You also get a camera carriage for your HD camera. The stock propellers are 5040. Two Velcro belts and two 3M pads. A slight upgrade to the stock charger. Now it shows the charging status of each cell with a maximum of 0.6 amps output. Other than that, it is a pretty much a basic charger. If you buy the uh, RTF version, you get a Devo 7. You can also get the Bind and Fly version and add a Devo 12E at uh, ucdrone.com which then allows you to fly all the SMX receivers uh, or you can also get a Devo 10 which is also a really good radio. Included is the standard set of uh, Wakira upgrade cables, the extra flight simulator donker, in addition a full LED strips for your Lights, night flying, yeah, that is new. Uh, tools are included for pit stop, changing propellers, and securing antenna. Now, a closer look here are the LEDs I was talking about earlier, which you can easily hook up and set up your preferences in clean flight. Here's a closer look at the flight controller and a 20 amps uh, electronic speed controller. The stock propellers are 5040. Wakura makes good propellers. Uh, plastic molding is their specialty, and that's how they got started about 15 years ago. Wakura provides some awesome tools, and this is one of them. This is a size 8, a 10, a 5.5, and an 8. And this corner here is used especially for tightening antennas, which is very useful. You just stick it in there and you just tighten it. Very useful. And then the opposite end is used for the propellers. You can just stick it right here, loosen up. Your nuts. And then stick the antenna back in there and tighten it with size 8. Well, I've noticed that all four motors are threaded uh, clockwise uh, tightening, uh, which means you uh, have to put some Loctite, uh, old school, you just tighten it really tight uh, to avoid the props from spinning out. Here's what I like to call the Mad Max cage. It basically protects the camera. Uh, this cage is uh, pretty solid. Uh, camera included is a 600 TV line camera. Another closer look at the antenna. The connectors are SMA mill, the 4S LiPo charger, and this is everything you get out of the box. The binding of the radio, and I like how the power supply is uh, secure in this uh, position. Uh, nicely uh, built into it.
The stock firmware is slightly customized version of uh, Clean Flight. You can download the Windows driver if you need to set up your preferences in Clean Flight. You can download the files at wakira.rocks. Yep, that's the website, wakira.rocks. I'm not sure if Betaflight version is planned for. If so, you can just flash it later on. Cleanfly is available as a Google app. Just use Google's Chrome browser, Google it, and follow the instructions to install. Cleanfly and Betaflight has been trending for a while and it's one of the best flight controller or configurator. You can set up, tune, and change your preferences. The default flight modes are angle mode and horizon mode. And this is mixed into the mix switch right here. So the mix switch uh, on the Devo radio, you just flip it down. That is horizon mode. You can see that. And no stabilization on position 2, all the way to the bottom. Back to angle mode, which is full stabilization. Uh, and in addition to that, you have the air mode. Uh, nice function added to clean flight and beta flight. Uh, air mode basically allows you to to have stabilization at zero throttle, which allows you to do some fantastic flips and rolls in the, in the air when you have to drop the throttle down. So that is done using the flight mode switch right here on the shoulder of the radio transmitter. So we flip it down, it goes into air mode. Any of those down positions will be air mode and then back to normal which you might want to engage when you are about to land. Lastly, don't forget to remove your lens protector before flying. Alright, we're ready for the next flight. Until the next time, I'll catch you on the next episode. We have some uh, AKK uh, antennas and this is view of the uh, Furious 215, the F215 by Wakira. So, correct way to uh, make sure your wires don't get entangled, so you tape it up a little bit and make sure you go around your antenna and pluck it right in. What do we have here? We have the uh, Wakira Fewers 215 with a uh, clean flight installed. So, a bit windy here. So, we're gonna take a three point test flight. First one will be in maneuver. So, let's uh, arm it. Okay, let's do a air mode test. That's air mode. So, it's uh, Do a uh, yaw test.
do a uh, punch up, but it's gonna take off. Okay. Oh my goodness, that's fast. <laughs> I don't think I can go there. Let me bring it for that out. Okay. That's a lot faster. That was a lot faster. <laughs> Do you want water? Oh, so the uh, ticket. Yeah, I like it. One more time. Yeah. Oh, battery's low. Oh. Okay, last maneuver. We're gonna do the ammo. It's telling me to come home. Okay, let me do our maneuver.